everyone, this is Josh from PowerCamper.com and in this video I'll be walking you through um, some tips and tricks on how to get um, a reserve booking at Reserve California as well as just doing a walkthrough video of, of me going through the process and implementing these tips uh, to give me the best chance possible at getting an actual campsite and uh, let's see if I can do it. So I'm here, it's about 7.50 so this is, um, before we get started, this is kind of my screen setup. I like Reserve California here, the clock right here, which I used to like to use clocktab.com. It shows you the time as well as the seconds, which is really important. Next, I like to have this uh, notepad here of the campsites that I want, so I have an easy reference of knowing uh, which campsites I want to reserve um, for today. So the very first step um, or, or tip, I guess you could say, is do your research and know what campsites you want, right? You need to know this information prior to 8 a.m. or you're just gonna be too slow um, compared to everyone else. So what I like to do um, is use this tool that we built on Power Camper called, uh, which is our pre-availability tool. So what this does is that it compiles all the pre-availabilities for the upcoming day um, within S Southern California. So you can see all the different state parks and state beaches here um, that have pre-availabilities. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this tool to find some pre-availabilities at Doheny State Beach, which is where I wanna reserve a campsite. So all you do is click this, open it up, and then you can see all the campsites that are available, facility name, check-in dates, and length of stay. I only want to stay two nights, so I wanna filter for the length of stay. Um, so these are the three campsites that I'm gonna be looking to get. So I like to just write them down here, which is campsite 21, next one is campsite 42, and then the other one is premium campsite um, 66. So these are the uh, three campsites that I'm gonna be attempting to reserve on Reserve California um, on Doheny. And you could use this tool, it updates every single day. Um, if you wanted to use this tool, you could go go here, there'll be a link in the bio if you want to uh, get access to this daily tool. Um, but if there's any other campgrounds that you wanted to, to um, reserve on, you could just open them up and find those campsites. So I've done my research, now I can move on to the next step. And the next step is actually going to Reserve California about 10 to 15 minutes prior to 8 a.m. Um, as you can see right now, we have about eight minutes. So I'm running a little bit short on time, so I hope I can uh, get through the rest of these tips and be ready for uh, booking by 8 a.m. But the next thing, but that tip is um, get to Reserve California 10 to 15 minutes before 8 a.m. Next is to use this clock tab um, in your browser. And I ideally would suggest you have it set up the same way that I, ha I have it set up right here so it's always present. It's not something that you have to click to and, and keep checking and refreshing. This just keeps going right up here in the top right hand corner so you always know what time it is. Uh, the next one is kind of a speed tip. Um, and this tip is to keep the, the browser tabs that you have open to a bare minimum. So every second counts on Reserve California when you're booking one of these campsites. So having a bunch of tabs open on your browser. Um, as you can see, I just have uh, three tabs open. The, the pre-availability tool, Reserve California, and the clock tab. Those are the only three tabs I have open, um, which will make it so my computer is very fast. If you have 50 tabs open, it's gonna slow your computer down, and it could potentially be the difference of you uh, not getting a reservation. So just a quick little speed tip there. Next one is another speed tip is, I would highly suggest using a desktop computer or a laptop over, an, over, a, over a phone. If you use a phone, it's you can still reserve a campsite, you can still move quick, it, it's okay if that's your only option, but if you have the option to use a laptop or a desktop computer, you will have an advantage of being able to go through different pages, click on different stuff quicker, fill out the captures faster, and overall just be a faster checkout process um, than if you're on your phone. Um, okay, now we can start digging into the actual Reserve California website and kind of getting some tips there. First one is make sure you log in, right? So sign in. Um, sometimes even if you're always logged in and you've logged in a million times to Reserve California, oftentimes when you go to the site, um, it'll still have you as not logged in. So make sure that you're logged in um, at the very beginning of this so that you don't have to log back in um, later, which will slow you down. So now that we have all this set up and we're kind of prepped, what we can now do is navigate to uh, the, the uh, campgrounds where we want to make our reservation. So, I know it's Doheny, we could go here. We can also use the pre-availability tool to actually um, click through to the campsites that I want. So campsite 21. This will take us to, um, it's like the correct dates, Friday through Sunday. So this will take us to Doheny. I'll close out of this one to, to keep it um, the tabs to a minimum. Once we're here, we can now navigate and just confirm that there is campsite 21 open, which is right here for, for Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, 
Next one is 42 that I'm looking for, which is here. And then the last one is 66, which I don't actually see it on here. I'm not sure uh, where it went. But the main one I'm tr trying to go for is campsite 21. I'm not sure why this is fetching content. Let me refresh this. There we go. Okay, I don't know if that was causing some issues or what um, on there, but the campsite one is campsite 21. So we click here and we can see currently, this is the, so this is the next tip um, that we're gonna get into is that avoid campsites that have many people viewing the site prior to 8 a.m. So right now there's zero people viewing the site, which is perfect, which means as of right now, we have no competition. Um, but oftentimes you might see this get up to 30, 40, 50 people viewing the same site, trying to book it. And if you have these three campsites that you're looking for and you look through all three of them, and let's say one of them has uh, two viewers, one of them has 15 viewers, and the other one has zero viewers, I would highly suggest just going to trying to reserve the campsite that has zero current viewers so that you have your best chance at actually reserving the campsite and you're not going up against competition. Um, so the next tip is to once you have determined which campsite you want, which is campsite 21 in my situation, uh, you often see this uh, CAPTCHA pop up for this campsite. So what I like to do is actually complete this CAPTCHA prior to eight o'clock. So click this, that'll have you kind of checked in and it removes one additional step that you have to do um, once 8 a.m. strikes. So that's really the, op the thing that we're trying to optimize for this entire process up to 8 a.m. in the actual booking process is getting as many things out of the way as possible um, and making it as quick as possible when the time actually comes. So as of right now, we're basically in the, the best spot possible to get this campsite um, when it comes online. So we still got about uh, three and a half minutes here, but once 8 a.m. strikes, this will refresh and all I have to do is click book now. I already have the campsite selected, the dates I want selected, the capture filled out, and I, all I have to do is click book now when that occurs. So now that we have about uh, three minutes left. I want to go over a couple more pro tips that you can um, consider when uh, booking on Reserve California. One of them is the group method. So if you have other people that you're going camping with, um, I would highly suggest having them on Reserve California following these same tips as me um, and basically all trying to get different campsites so you basically have a better chance at getting it. So it's really just a numbers game on Reserve California. So the more people you have on your side trying to get specific campsites for your group, the better chance are, chances are that you're gonna actually get one of those campsites. Um, the next one is called the delayed booking method. So what this is is that at eight o'clock, a bunch of the pre-availabilities get released for, re for reservation. They all get scooped up. And then uh, let's say if I reserve, like uh, booked three different campsites or picked three different campsites that I wanted to reserve at 8 a.m., but then I only up only ended up reserving one of those, those other two campsites that I didn't reserve get re-released at 8.15 again. So a really neat little trick that um, a lot of people don't know about is that you can check again at 8.15 and see if any new ones got re-released from people that had it, that they were gonna book but they never actually ended up reserving it. They come back online and you can actually attempt to um, snag those again. So this actually keeps happening every 15 minutes. So the people that scoop them back up at 8.15 but then actually didn't reserve it, get re-released again at 8.30, right? So this kind of keeps happening. Obviously it gets lower and lower the, the um, amount of campsites that get released every 15 minutes, but that 8.15 and 8.30 mark are actually really good um, times that potentially come back in. If you miss the 8 a.m. swing, go back at 8.15 or 8.30 to see if you can scoop up any last um, campsites that got re-released. And my last tip is that all of this is very manual, it takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, it takes days and days to potentially book campsites. Um, the best way to, to really um, get notified of these campsites is to use our tool, powercamper.com. So this is basically a tool that you put in your uh, um, your campground, your where you wanna camp, your campsites, and how long you wanna stay. Camp Power Camper will go through your entire um, this entire process for you automatically, and anytime there's a new cancellation or a new availability that matches your search, we'll send you an email and a text immediately that allows you to then go and reserve that campsite on Reserve California um, yourself. So you kind of avoid all of this hassle that I'm kind of going through now um, with Power Camper, which will make your life a lot easier and increase your chance of actually getting those like really hard to get uh, campsites. So um, that's just something to keep in mind. You don't have to do this. It's very possible to just follow these tips and methods that I've outlined here to get your own campsite. But if you don't have the time or don't want to spend the effort and time to do that, highly suggest checking out powercamper.com. So now we're about uh, 20 seconds away. 
from game time here. So uh, we have the campsite selected. The verification did expire, that's okay. What I can do is just click this again. This should be fine for the next 10 seconds. Um, we're gonna sit here and wait. I like to click refresh um, like a couple seconds early just in case. I'm clicking it, clicking it. Book now, let's see if I was able to get it. Okay, I was able to get it. Even with the couple little mistakes right there, uh, for some reason when I refreshed it, the, the campground that I had selected actually deselected and I had to reselect it again and complete the verification. That usually doesn't happen, but even with all that happening, I was still able to get this uh, campsite reservation, luckily, um, thanks to all the other tips that I followed um, and, able, and I'm able to book this. So um, that's kind of the entire process um, from beginning to end, the entire walkthrough, as well as a lot of the tips that I like to use and suggest you use to kind of increase your odds of getting a campsite. And like I said, if you don't want to go through this process every single day, uh, attempting over and over again to get a campsite, I would highly suggest checking out our site, powercamper.com, which will do all this hard work for you. Uh, but yeah, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. Hope these tips help you. Um, and happy camping. See you out there.